On the 12th of May, Sri Lanka Freedom Party faction supporting former President Maitri Pala Sirisena held a meeting and appointed Minister of Justice, Prison Affairs and Constitutional Reforms Dr. Vijaydasa Rajapaksha as the party's new chairman. This development came following the former president's resignation as party chairman. Further, Attorney at Law Kirti Udavatta was appointed the party's acting general secretary by the faction of Maitri Pala Sirisena. However, the party national organizer Dumindu Disanayaka filed a case against the appointments at the Colombo District Court, requesting an order to be issued against Dr. Vijaydasa Rajapaksha and Kirti Udavatta from functioning as the chairman and the acting general secretary, respectively. When the case was taken up for hearing this morning, the court, which highlighted that the case consisted of technical errors, refused to issue an interim injunction as requested by the plaintiff. However, the Colombo District Court judge said, Plaintiff Dumindu Zahanayaka can fix the technical errors and refile his case with the court again. Hours after the decision, steps were taken by Dumindu Zahanayaka to rectify the errors and refile the same case before the Colombo District Court. The Colombo District Court ordered the case to be heard on Monday. There has to be no reason for the other members to have a rift with me. All of them said they were unable to work with the former chairman. The former chairman was humble enough to resign from his position. He took that decision by taking the party's future into account. Vijaydasa Rajpakshi is a member who represents the cabinet along with us. There were accusations leveled against us for representing the government. However, no one can level that accusation against us anymore. Definitely we will. We need his support to strengthen the party. We do not want to create conflicts. Meanwhile, a former executive member of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, Montego Sarachandra, has filed a complaint with the Commission to investigate allegations of bribery or corruption against former President Maitri Pala Sirisena. Through his complaint, Sarat Chandra says he suspects that the former president paid compensation to the victims of the Easter Sunday terror attacks with funds obtained from the transfer of Sri Lanka Freedom Party. On May 12th, Maitri Pala Sirisena held a meeting and resigned from the party chairmanship. He then appointed a new chairman. The following day, there was a newspaper article circulating saying that he paid 28 million rupees as compensation for the victims of the Easter Sunday attacks during the past few days. Recently, Sirisena said he will have to beg in PETA to find money to settle the compensation. I have a suspicion that he found that amount by selling the party. As a result, I lodged a complaint with the bribery commission to investigate how he obtained those funds to settle the compensation. Mama, Allah's <laughs> 